Hi buddy, it's Delia here and I am back with a new scrapbook page uh, from the sort of uh, Christmas photos. <laughs> and uh, this time uh, the plan was to use four 4x4 four four photos <laughs> um, but instead I'm just going to use two of them. So the four pages that I had planned uh, sort of turned into six. So uh, here I want to try something different. So I'm going to start with a Felicity Jane piece of uh, single colored paper. <laughs> I had to think about that. And I have this scallop, you can see that on the left side. Here is one of my new stencils that I have. It's from um, the Cowboy Collection by Cardabella. I thought it was really, really pretty. So I'm going to use that and I have some uh, Ranger texture paste. I'm just going to slap that in <laughs> through it on the left side. Um, going to make sure that I don't ruin my stencil when I do it because I have a tendency to get those kind of really tiny things uh, and I get them in the wrong way. <laughs> Unbend them. So that is the plan and my style wasn't clean so you can see on the top uh, on the top of the here where I'm starting is sort of pink but it's okay. So now I'm taking glitter and I don't think I have used glitter in forever uh, so I thought it was a really fun technique to use in glitter and um, this is a very pinky reddish color so I'm just going to use that and the the plan or the sort of the hypothesis <laughs> is that the texture paste will dry and then the glitter will stick to it. Um, yeah, I mean it sticks to it, but it doesn't really stick to it. Um, I can rub it off, so I'm not sure, sure, but I'm not going to fiddle with it. So I still had a lot of glitter out, it was a really small barrel, I'm not going to put it in, so I thought, well, I'm just going to make another page and then use that one for whenever I want to use glitter flowers again. So here I'm just going to use sort of the whole stencil in two places. Um, you can see there, and this is just regular white uh, cardstock. And I'm just going to dump all the glitter and then just sort of swirl it around to make sure that I get the... I mean, this is kind of cool. I mean, imagine doing this but with embossing powder and then letting it dry and then heat setting it. Ah, <gasps> giving myself ideas again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What I really like about this glitter effect, even though it's a bit messy and I have pink glitter all over my floor, yep, I do, um, it's that you get, you can get like an, a shift in it depending on where and how much you place it. So if I dump a lot of glitter in the center of it and then sort of shake it off, you can see there you get like a gradient effect. I think that's really cool. So yeah, I think I might try this technique again with another glitter or like maybe not a texture paste like some I can imagine like some like multi matte medium or something like something more gluey you know so I have no idea what happened with my camera it looks like everything is slightly stretched um, and I'm I have no idea what happened because the rest of them look fine so yeah I don't know uh, so I'm hoping you can tell what I'm doing but I'm going to start while that is drying to add some uh, uh, texture behind my two photos and the photos are of uh, you can see are of some flowers I don't know if what you call them in English in Sweden they're called um, hyacinther so I suppose they would call like hyacinths or something and um, so you're like why I'm scrapping this for Christmas well, in Sweden, these come in season for Christmas and the smell is just, it's just Christmas for me. So, and especially my mom, she loves uh, these kind of flowers for Christmas and she fills the whole house and everything smells so, so good. So I thought I was going to uh, do a page about that. The papers I have are either from whatever I had left uh, in my Christmas uh, file uh, some of them are Felicity Jane papers, and that is just, I have a little uh, sip of pouch on my desk with just random piece of papers. And uh, I found this grey wood grain and that white polka dot paper. Um, 
And then this sort of vellum looking stuff is tissue paper by Tim Holtz. And I thought I'm going to use that as my base layer. I also have some acetate with snowflakes. I really like having that kind of different textures with that. We have old book page, we have tissue paper, we have paper, acetate. I think that's really fun where I have this kind of simple page, uh, adding a lot of different textures. And then, of course, we have the texture paste and the glitter. So it's like all the textures. <laughs> I don't think I have ribbon here, actually. No, but that would be another texture, obviously. So I'm just using some uh, red line tape here because I don't know how the tissue paper will stay in place. So I thought I'd better use something super strong. Uh, so putting that down and then... Oh, I actually <laughs> thought I have a bit of room in there. So obviously I thought about it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to add my title and I'm going to use some black figures and they are from Maggie Holmes gather collection I think I don't know what they're called here you can see them oh did you see that it changed oh my gosh okay so the image is back to normal how fun is that um so I'm going to just write the name of the flower which is Hyacinth and then with these letters oh I'm cutting one of the M's because I don't have an N so I'm going to Viola cut that and Viola she's like I'm not having it mm -mm. she if you don't know I have a dog and she her name is Viola and she has quite a temper Viola and she's quite loud she obviously <laughs> making herself known I'm trying to Shh. okay so I'm going to put the black on top of the photo and I felt I needed something really strong because the photos are quite dark and I don't really have that much uh, um, contrast in the layers they're quite soft so I felt like I needed some black to really so that you don't get lost I'm going to add my journaling underneath and I'm going to write just what I told you that my especially my mother loves the smell uh, well we all love the smell but she is really really loving them and she fills the whole house uh in time for christmas mm. yeah i'm sorry i should not be talking to her right now she is like not receptive at all so <laughs> i'm going to do that and then i'm just adding on on all of the layouts in this christmas um series i suppose um i'm adding the date on when the photo so 2013 and then the year that I've actually made the page um, and here I'm adding a little um, bow and that is cut out of a vellum by uh, Maggie Holmes so it's flocked um, I'm going to add some splatters and I'm going to use some tinsel Heidi Shine I thought about using black because like I said I want to add some more black in but I felt like that would be too too strong for it so I'm just going to add with the uh, with the tinsel and then I'm going to add one of these chipboard phrases and words they're from Tim Holtz again I really like them they are on chipboard and I think there are three different fonts uh, and I really really like them okay Viola she is taken care of <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to add that chipboard on top and um, I'm going to add a bit more black here. I'm going to add some uh, words and these are from a pretty little studio, I think. And they have like a traditional... I'm going to... <laughs> no, what I want to say was the words have sort of like a traditional um, feel to them adding to what I'm talking about that is one of the traditions in our house to have a lot of these flowers around and that is the final page I really like this page it doesn't feel like that a super traditional Christmas but I still convey the uh, sort of feel that I wanted to and I'm definitely going to try that texture paste and glitter technique again I hope you've liked this video and that you will come back soon